Hey, Steve Isaac Architect. Yeah, so we're up here on this other building. This one going up is a another CLT. You can see their cross laminated timber going up. They're putting on the elevator shafts down there. But the thing that I wanted to show you is the exterior wall panels. So you can see these actually have the Sika My Vest 200 exterior weather resistive barrier. And there's a whole bunch of these packages over here with a truck with its own crane. And so underneath these packages are pre-assembled walls with the Sega and the strapping on it. So here you go. You can see there. And then over here, if we turn around, we'll see the inside of that folded wall. So these are just different wall systems. And of course here, they are still using, if we fold this back, you can see they're still using that half inch exterior jib, but they're putting that Sega My Vest over the top of it. And notice the windows are already installed. Those are installed as a face sealed system there, right? Meaning, if we take a walk inside of the frame here, you can see they're basically taped on all four sides. So it's not a water managed system. This is a total water barrier system. And it's taped on all four sides. And those are those Nordan triple glazed windows. We actually just drove by the factory yep. to get here. So let's take a walk out here. Let's see what else we can find. Because there's another one here that we can see from the inside. So this one they chose not to install the windows. See it's all two by eight framing. They have an exterior chipboard. And that my vest. So let's take a walk around the building and we'll see if we can't see how these are getting integrated over there. All right, so we jumped over to the side of the building here. And you can see if I back up, it is basically just like a giant honeycomb, right? And you can see it has all those jut outs, but those are going to marry up with those exterior wall panels. So Basically, the structure, the core structure of this building is the CLTs. And then on the outside, they'll come out here and then basically just sit these Traytech systems on the outside here that have the Sega My Vest. And you can see it's slowly making its way around the building. But like I said, these are all those CLT panels. I mean, it's very much like what we have seen before is laminated. Although, you know, the cool thing about it is, is you can integrate these cantilevers and then just tie those into the walls. The other thing, very much like we have been seeing, it seems to be coming the norm here is these bathroom pods that just get dropped in place in the unit. Now these are much larger than the ones we have been seeing and uh, that's because this is a uh, elderly um, units of housing and so those have to be a little larger um, for you know handicap purposes and such. But take a look at this. We pull that back so there's some GPS it looks like graphite GPS with a dimple map on the outside. Can't say that this paper is the best solution. But also notice here how they have gone around and you can see there's been a number of shims. Some of them taller than others, like that's just a single. This is just metal and then this one's on a few more. So I think they found the high spot and then went around to uh, set up those panels. And you can see one of the beauties of the CLT is they have those knife plates 
where they have the ability to put those in the middle, but then you get that kind of really nice spruce interior here. So, all right, let's jump around the side of the building, see what we can find. Yes, it's an ICF block, insulated concrete form. It has the void inside here where concrete goes and you can put rebar, you get the insulation value. You can see there it's probably about three inches or so on that side, two inches on the other side, and then probably on the order of a six inch core. But that's not the cool thing about this ICF. I've never seen this before. This one actually has this cement panel adhered to the outside so you can put it up and then they simply have a little H channel that you push on here and get it but yeah that is just a cement board so now you can put this, this ICF as the top course and then that gives you that very durable finish. And you can see here, it's probably on the order of about, I would say 3 16 maybe a quarter of an inch a week. But uh, I have never seen anything like that before. So a fully integrated um, finished panel on top of an ICF. Very cool.